Hey guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a scraper blade in Blender. I'm hoping to actually use this scraper blade in an upcoming tutorial that I want to do. As you can see over here, I'll quickly show you on the screen. Um, it's going to be just kind of like satisfying animation. I'm trying. I'm going to try and use this scraper blade in quite a few motion graphics projects. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple scraper blade in Blender. So you can see this is the final result here. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. So go ahead and open up your search browser or something like Google or Bing, whatever. Just go to the images and then type in scraper blade. So, you know, something that has kind of like, um, something like this that has kind of like a front on view, just find one that you can kind of use. It should be something. I just went ahead and kind of just scanned my own because I have some scraper blades. So I've got the, um, the scan here on my desktop and this is kind of just a front on view of the blade. It really doesn't have to be anything um, too spectacular. So just like a scraper blade of some sort a front view like this just go ahead download it put it on your desktop or whatever and um, we can get started with this tutorial so let's go ahead and open up a new scene in blender i'm using blender 2.92 and um, i'm just going to just enable my screencast keys here for you guys so you can see the keys i am using so let's start just by selecting everything in our scene here i'm going to hit x and delete we don't need that we're just going to start from scratch let's go and hit one on our keyboard to go into our front of graphic view um, you should know how to do that. If you don't, you can just come over here to view and then go front. And then I'm gonna take that image. So I'm gonna just grab that um, image here. So take your um, scraper blade image and just drag it into your um, viewport here in your front of graphic view. And you can now see we have this image here, right? So yours should be kind of similar to this. And then all you're gonna simply do is go shift A and you're gonna go add in a plane. You can see we now have a plane in the scene. If this plane active, we're gonna go R, X, nine, zero, and we're gonna hit enter, okay? And now let's go into our front view. And we obviously wanna be efficient with this, so we wanna make sure we mirror this. But before we do that, we also wanna make sure, so a quick way to test if this image at the back is level, or, or even, is just to select your um, plane here and then go S, X, and just scale it till it is the same length as the scraper blade. Now we can see here it's already touching the edge of the blade here, but this side of the image it's not. So we have to grab the plane at the back here. We have to hit G and then X and just move it till we line that image up perfectly with this blade, like that, okay? And now we can select the plane itself, hit Z and then go into wireframe. And in fact, let's just tab into edit mode and let's just select these two top vertices. And we're gonna go G, Z and just move them a little bit higher. And we're gonna select these bottom verts here Right, and we can go G, Z, and move them down to the bottom of the blade tip here. You can see that over there. So we're just trying to fill in the space of the blade. Now don't worry about this top part here. You can see it's like this little fold of metal. We'll get to that separately. But all we want is it to be matched up to our image here, like that. And then we're gonna come in here in the middle. So this is go Z back into solid view. We're gonna hover over here in one of these edges, go Control R or Command R and double click and we can add in an edge loop like that, right? Once you've added an edge loop, just select two verts on the left here in the front view, hit X and delete. So now we only have half a cube, go to, or half a plane. So we're gonna go to our modifiers, add modifier, add in a mirror modifier. Also make sure to enable clipping so it kind of stays attached and doesn't just fall apart. It's like if we don't have clipping enabled, this is what's gonna happen, so make sure to enable clipping. Now we're gonna get into the actual modeling, which is super simple. So let's go Z, go into wireframe, and we're in our edit mode here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by hovering over one of these edges. We're gonna go Control R, double click, double G. We're adding in an edge, um, sliding in an edge cut here. So I'm sliding it up till it's sitting at the top of this rounded part here. And then I'm gonna go again, hovering over one of these edges, Control R, you can see the yellow line appearing, double click. And then you can go double G and just slide it down, edge slide it till it's at the bottom of this guy here. And then I'm gonna come over one of these edges, control R, you can see the yellow line appearing here, double click, double G, and just slide it till it's at the edge of this opening here, as you can see there, All right? And let's do the same thing over here. Hovering over this edge, control R, double click, double G, and slide in an edge till it touches this rounding part here. And now let's make a bit for here. So hover over this edge, control R, double click, double G, and slide up an edge to this part up here where this 
loop starts and do the same thing for this one down here. Control R, double click, double G and just slide it down there. Like that. Now while we're still in a vertex select option here, we want to go and hit the key, the K key on our keyboard, so hit K. And then you can click over here on this edge and then click on this vertex over here. Hit enter. And then when I hit K again, we're gonna click on this edge where this um, sharp part starts, just right here. And then click over here and hit enter. Now if we hit um, select this vertex and we hold in shift and we select this vertex, so these two vert vertices here. If we hit control and shift and B, so control shift B or command shift B and we move our mouse and we roll our middle mouse button, we can kind of create um, a, um, a bevel on these vertices. At the moment it's a bit skewed, so what we might have to do is just tab out of edit mode real quick. And now that you're in object mode, just go control A and just apply that scale. Then tab back into edit mode. And now of those two vertices selected, if we go control B or sorry, control shift B, and we bevel those, you can see that operation is working a lot better. So bevel it like this and then roll your middle mouse button a few times just to round it out. So just creating something like that. How cool is that? Now we're gonna hit Z and go into solid view. Go to your face select and then just select this face. Holding and shift select this face and this face and then hit X and then delete faces. And let's just actually go into a vertex select here Hit Z, just go into wireframe, and while we're at it, just select this top vertex here. In fact, we might actually have to select these two vert verts here. G, Z, and just bring them down a bit, like that. And then select this vertex here in the corner. Holding and shift select this bottom vertex here, so this one and this one. Then you're gonna go Control Shift B, and you're gonna bevel them as well, just like that. And you can roll your middle mouse button to add or decrease the segments. So I'm gonna go something like that. Then just select this vertex, holding and shift select this vertex, so just two middle ones here. Hit X and delete vertices. Okay, and now if we hit Z and we go into our solid view, we have that. So it's coming together. So one more thing we can do is we can come over here over this edge, Control R and double click, double G and just slide down an edge. Now you can notice with this edge, the problem is it's not going all the way across here. And the reason is because we don't have um, um, these verts here are just free floating and this is a non-quad face over here, so it won't work. So what we need to do is hit K and then click on this vertex here and just come all the way across and roughly click on this middle one here, this edge. So click on this edge here and then hit enter and now we have a line all the way. So just holding and shift while this is active here, hold and shift and select that vertex on the end. So we have this whole um, bunch here selected. Just make sure these ones here are selected. And then we're gonna go S, Z, zero, just to make sure it's nice and flat. So now we have that edge here selected, the whole edge. And we're gonna hit Z, we're gonna go into wireframe. And then we're gonna go G, Z, and just move it down. Or you can hit double G, double G twice to slide it. But I would rather just go G, Z, and move it in this case. I'm gonna move it down till it's at the top of this edge here, like that. And um, that is pretty much the blade part here done. All we need to do now to make it more three dimensional is kind of just extrude it to the side. But before we do that, we're gonna get started on the top part here as well. So a simple way I found to do that was just to come deselect everything and then we're gonna go shift alt and just click on the edge at the top here. We wanna select all of these verts at the top. So all of these top ones here. And then we're gonna go shift D to duplicate them. And we're gonna go G, Z, and just move them up. So G, Z, and move them up till they're at the top like that. See where the um, the kind of like holder thing at the top is. And then we're gonna go in a front of graphic view, G, X, and move it on the X just a little bit over this way, okay? And now, if we hit free, we can go to our right of graphic view, and you're not gonna see much. But if we now go over to our modifier, and we enable the Y, and we go E to extrude, we can extrude in our right orthographic view to our left. So I'm actually in my right orthographic view, you can see what's happening here like that, okay? And then in the right orthographic view, we wanna just keep extruding this a little bit. So we're gonna first move it like this, and then E to extrude it down a little bit, and then we need to go back into our front view by hitting one on our number pad. 
So in this case, we can see we need to go G, Z, and bring that down to where this little divot is over here. So you can see what's happening. Right? We're just trying to kind of create that shape. So then hit free to go back into your right of graphic view and just move these guys forward a bit. We're just trying to create kind of like this, this thing that your thumb is gonna hold onto, this little metal um, gro grooved plate they put at the top to protect your fingers. Okay, so also just make sure that, that the access here is enabled. In fact, I'm realizing the reason, even though we have the Y enabled, it's not mirroring on the Y, because we actually need to go out of edit mode into object mode, then we need to go control A and just apply the rotation. Okay, so now if we tab back into edit mode, we should see with the Y enabled, it's mirroring on the Y as well. And I'm also just gonna um, hit Z and go into solid view. So you can kind of just see what's happening here. We're trying to model this um, part that goes over here like this, the kind of like um, gripper thing. So just select this edge again along here, go back to your right view, hit Z, go into wireframe, and then go E to extrude it down that whole edge like that. And then go to your front view and try and match it up over here, as you can see. So you might have to go G, Z, bring it down a little bit more. So just like that, trying to just match it up. Okay, go back to your right of graphic view and E to extrude it this way a little bit. So we're just kind of creating this divot, as you can see. Go back to your front view. So far, it's all looking good. And now let's just go back to our right view, E to extrude a little bit down, and then E, Z, and extrude it down quite a bit, like that. So we're gonna go G, Z, just bring that edge down all the way, sorry, all the way to the bottom of this um, plate over here, like that. Now we're gonna hit Z and we're gonna go into solid view and select any vertex on this top part, hit Control L, so we only have this guy selected, then hit P and separate by selection. Tab out of edit mode and now select this part here. It's now its own object and tab into edit mode and in this case, we just wanna simply select this corner vertex here, and we wanna go Control Shift B, and we wanna also bevel that. Roll our middle mouse button to add in some segments. So we're just rounding that out, like that. Now, that part should be pretty much done, so let's just tap out of edit mode. Let's go over here to our modifiers and give it a solidify modifier, and just increase that thickness outward a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, on top of that, we're gonna go add a bevel. We're gonna come to the limit method and make it angle. And then we're gonna bring this angle mount down a little bit and also just bring the mount down. We don't want the, the bevels to be massive. So just something like 0 0.015 and just mess around with this angle amount here. Also increase the segment count. Just trying to round that out a little bit. Go to object mode and enable shade smooth. So now we have this top kind of um, part here, as you can see. That was a little bit tricky. I hope um, you guys were able to follow along. But what we're gonna do now is select the blade part again. And we're gonna go over here to the modifier for this. And we're gonna disable the Y, because we don't need it. Then we're gonna go into our right of graphic view, tab into edit mode, select all of these verts like that. Then we're gonna go G, Y, and move it forward a bit like that. And then we're gonna go E, Y, and extrude it back. So to create some thickness to this blade, like that. And let's just tab out of edit mode, select the plane here, the reference image, and hit H to hide it, so it's out of the way. And let's select the scraper blade here, tab back to edit mode. And in this case, we're gonna select all of these bottom verts, and we're gonna go S, Y, zero, hit enter. F3 while they're all still selected, and then we're gonna type in merge, and we're gonna go merge by distance, like that. Now they're all kind of fused together. Now we have that sharp edge to the blade. Tab out of edit mode, go to object mode, and also enable shade smooth for this blade. And on top of that, to make it look sharp, we're gonna add an edge split to clean it up. So now we have our scraper blade here, and it's all looking fantastic. Now we only have to simply, this is the easy part, add the material. So let's select the blade here. Go to our materials, click new. Let's call it blade. And let's also select the top part, the handle, and let's come to the drop down and also give it that blade material. Then we're gonna go over to our UV editing, or actually just our shading, go to your shading. And let's go shift A, search, and get an image texture. Plug the color into the base color of the principled, 
click open and then just get that um, reference image, whichever one you downloaded. In my case, I'm using mine. And it's almost lining up as you can see here. If you hit Z and you go into material preview, you should see it. So hit Z, material preview. What you, what you might have to do is go to your UV editing and then come to the drop down here, get that scraper blade image. Then come over in this side, hit Z, go into a material preview. Then tab into edit mode with this blade selected. Then hit A to select all of the geometry. And now what you can do is in your front view, you can go U, project from view. And then this side, you can just select it, scale it and move it. In this case, I'm gonna just hit S to scale it. And I'm gonna hit G to move it. I'm just gonna line it up right here like that. And over here, we can see that's looking quite good. And now we can tab out and select the, the top part of the blade. Go into a front orthographic view, tab into edit mode, hit A to select everything, U and project from view. And over here, we're also just gonna scale these up and move them over to the side like that. So just trying to match it all up. And now we can see we have that over there. Tab out of edit mode. And there we pretty much have our scraper blade. Now one of the things you can do to fix the side stretching here is just to, in edit mode, go to your face select and just simply select all of the side faces like this. Okay, so maybe just individually select them. And just have them selected and then go to your right orthographic view. Hit U and project from view. Come over here and just scale them up and R to rotate them. Then just hit G and just kind of align them up with the grain of the metal. Tab out of edit mode and now we have um, a texture on the side here. So that's how you make a super relatively realistic scraper blade that's definitely um, the same dimensions as a real one in Blender. So here we have it going back to our layout. Just hit Z, material preview. There is the scraper blade and um, like I probably showed you like I showed you earlier, um, this is kind of what I made with the scraper blade and I'll probably do a tutorial on this at some point as well. You can see here's my scraper blade and it's just kind of like this slicing animation. So that's one of the things I'm hoping to do sometime in the next month. So I'll see you guys next time for another uh, blender tutorial and I hope this has been um, educational.